Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are going to go ahead and do a Mining Architect gameplay review. This game dropped one week ago. I did a video on it eh, several weeks ago to talk about really the, the details behind it and let you know what was coming up. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, this is... I, I want to go ahead and throw this out there. This is not just another mining game that you go and you, you mine an, uh, a fictitious token and hope that the price stays consistent or goes up. Uh, and then you continue to go over and over and over and over and over again and do it. Um, this one is different. This one is actually run by a, a team that, that you're aware of. Uh, it, it's run by Anuk Studios, which is uh, connected to Lycos uh, from the Farming Tales team. It's not the same team that's running both of them, uh, but Lycos now started a, a gaming company, and this is their first project that they're releasing. In addition to knowing the actual team members, this is connected to a real life mining farm that is in Iceland. We've seen pictures. I showed it in the previous video. So if you want to see the actual pictures, go ahead and check out my other video. The videos are the pictures are also on the Discord. And the next time they go to the site, they're going to go ahead and do some more pictures uh, just to keep us up to date with the actual physical location. So that's why this one is different than you're going to see from any of the other mining games that are on Wax or probably any of the other <laughs> blockchains that are out there. Before I jump into the gameplay itself, uh, let me go ahead and throw two disclaimers out there. First and foremost, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research. Don't just jump into this game because I did a video on it and I said, hey, I'm in it. I like it. Make sure you do your own research and it fits your situation, both budget and also gameplay. The other disclaimer I want to put out there is this is meant to be more of a mining connection with their physical farm. They have developed a game around it. It is, it's more of an advanced clicker, as some people say. Uh, so be aware of that when we jump into here. But the, the, the real features behind this is behind the scenes. It's the, that connection to right now there's a connection to, the, to Bitcoin. You can go ahead and mine towards Bitcoin. Arumbus uh, is going to be the, the next one that you can go ahead and mine. That could be available here as early as the end of February and more tokens down the road. So there's a lot of benefits down the road for this, uh, which makes it a whole lot of fun. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and I'll continue to talk through some more of the details as, as we walk through here. Um, wanted to let you know that it was launched one week ago at the time of this recording. Uh, it, it, was, it, it had its issues when it was launched, so I'm not gonna say it was a perfect launch. Um, the fun thing is the fact that the team jumped right on it and they didn't uh, a number of releases to go ahead and fix the patches and fix the issues. There's only so much you can test with a, a small group uh, that, that really, some issues really come out when it goes out to the whole group. This is, this is basically the platform. You are in here, you're in say your apartment or uh, maybe your bedroom, however you wanna picture this. And these are your mining tables that you have here that are gonna be set up to go ahead and do the mining itself your rig right here, and obviously you've got your bed and everything else that's around here. These tables are gonna be your primary focus where your rigs are gonna go. Uh, the first table is unlocked just as part of going ahead and jumping in the game. The other two tables, you have to go ahead and you purchase it uh, by the, the in-game token that, that you can go ahead and mine. Um, in addition to that, they have hinted that there is potentially this office space that's down here where you can expand into a more space that's not available yet. More details to come with that, but it, it looks like it's lining up for as you continue to, uh, or as they continue to roll out miners in the physical location, they're gonna roll out space that allows you to go ahead and put the miners in game itself. All right, right now there are two tokens in game. As you can see down here, there is the ARCTH. That is the in game token. Uh, there is specific miners towards that that are were only available in this first sale. So you will never see a sale for these types of miners ever again. That's why if you look at the secondary market, they are a higher price than, than the other one. The other token right now is the ARBTC and that's connected to Bitcoin itself. They will go ahead and open a bridge here in the near future that will allow them to, uh, basically you can exchange one of these uh, BAR, I'm sorry, B R, let me try that one more time. A R B T C tokens 
for one Satoshi, basically one for one. That's what they're going to equal to. So you can do the math. I'm not going to go into the ROI itself because I'm looking at the bigger picture here. Uh, but they're going to open that bridge. They are right now waiting to see if Wax can get that bridge set up, which they're currently working on. That is scheduled to be released in Q1 of this year. If they can't, if that, that, that doesn't work out from the Wax, full Wax perspective, they have another plan that they're going to implement. Um, so this will, is not available yet to exchange it for the, the Bitcoin, but it will be here in the near future. Ooh, there was a lot of information there. There will be more tokens released in the future as they add more miners. As you can see, just from uh, just in here, the game itself, uh, this is the look of it right now is very disheveled. Uh, basically, a very beginner. Uh, I live in my mom's basement <laughs> type of uh, approach. Um, every single thing that's in here, you see as I go over it, it highlights can and will be available to be exchanged in the future for different items. Uh, for example, you've heard a lot that there is a taco bed that's out there that's that's a collaboration with taco. I've also seen a carpet here that's a collaboration with taco. Um, I haven't been lucky enough to pull those yet. Uh, there's also posters. Uh, TD, which is a, a content creator, has one out there. I could potentially have one also in the future. Just throwing that out there. I am not too prideful or, or ashamed to have a picture of myself or my, my icon, my logo, Warrior Line logo, on the wall. So <laughs> don't be surprised if you see that in the future. Um, and then you can upgrade the desk. You can upgrade your computers. Again, all the rigs themselves. All right, now we're in here. Let me Let me just walk through the different sections. Down here, it shows your, your yield, your basically your rate every 24 hours, how much you can earn. There's three different rarities right now in the game for miners. There's commons, there's rares, and there are epics. Uh, the, the commons are mined every eight hours, the rares are mined every 16 hours, and the epics are mined every 24 hours, and that's what gives you the rate. So you actually have to go in there and click on it. That's why they, people are, some people are referring to this as an advanced clicker. Um, when you get in here, there's a couple things that you can do. Uh, I'm sorry, let me go to the settings. This just shows your, your Wax wallet and the settings. Right now, there's two settings in there. There will be more in the future. Uh, you, when you first get in there, you want to go ahead and click on your table. It's going to show you all of uh, the miners that you have in your wallet. So you go ahead and select. Um, these are the ARCTH miners, the in-game tokens. I'm currently focused on those right now because I want to open some more tables. Once I have some more tables open, I'll go ahead and, and set up the, the Bitcoin miners. Um, I didn't have the best luck in the pool, but I did get at least one epic out of it. But right now I'm focused completely on this to earn the tokens to get in there. Um, in order to check your product, oh, I'm sorry, let me jump back here. In order to stake them, you click on them, you click stake, or I can unstake, or I can see how much time I have left uh, before I can claim again. That right now there is no option to do a bulk uh, stake or unstake. There's potentially for that in the future, but nothing has been done, identified for that in game yet. Uh, once you have them all staked and they're running, for example, if you have all rares and 16 hours has passed and you're ready to go claim, you can go ahead and claim it by clicking on these individually and click on the button down here, which is not available yet. Still need three hours and seven minutes. Or the way that I do it, which is a little bit easier is if you come over here to the computer, this is basically your central hub. You click on that and you're going to have a number of different items here. It's going to be more populated down the road. It gives you basically a tablet view. You got your PC, which I don't have any other ones to stake right now. Hopefully down the road I will. You have your production, which is by table. So as you get more tables or as you get different areas, you can click on that. And you see I have a bunch of rares here that are going to be available to claim. And you just go through and you claim them individually right now. Right now, you can only claim them individually. They are working on adding the addition uh, to claim all. Um, that will be here at some point in February. Uh, they are working on that currently. Then you want to see how, much, how many game tokens you have actually already harvested or already claimed. Go ahead and click on Game Wallet. Show you what you currently have. Do not click on this withdrawal button if you do not want to withdraw them. It's a bulk. It's basically if you hit this withdrawal, it's going to remove everything that you have in your wallet. So all 16.322 or three, all 16 of these will be withdrawn. You can't just withdraw five or so. Again, feature down the road that they're going to be adding. And then you can go ahead um, before I show you the next one. I was dumb um, and accidentally hit the withdraw. Uh, I, I didn't have my coffee yet. 
So I hit the withdraw and when I was going ahead to check to see if I can grab another table, unfortunately withdrew it. And right now there is no deposit feature that'll actually be available uh, in the next few days. So if you go over and click on your blockchain wallet, you'll see that I have 36 here available, just enough to go to your second table. I'm still kicking myself for clicking that button by accident. Um, but there will be a, a deposit button here in the next few days that'll allow me to put it back in there and purchase the second table. Just for information purposes, this second table here will come with seven slots and will be 35 in-game token. And then this third table here will be five slots and will be 50 in-game tokens. So you can go ahead and unlock those by clicking on them and redeem the table. I don't have enough yet, so I can't unlock it. Uh, but next week, uh, once I can pull my token back in, uh, my bonehead move, uh, I'll be able to go ahead and unlock that and then expand my, my mining farm that I have here. A few additional features that they're going to be adding here in the future that were announced. Let me go ahead and click over to Discord. This was announced this past week. Uh, as I mentioned, they're going to give you the option to go ahead and claim all. But in order to do that, you need the cat in order to claim all of the in-game token. And you need the dog NFT to go ahead and claim all of the, the BTC token. In addition with that, they're going to have uh, external hard drives. The deposits, as I mentioned, is going to be here in the very near future. Um, I also mentioned that there are some collaborations that are coming down the road. They did an auction for the Mint 1 of the TD uh, poster. Um, so lots of stuff that they're calling for. They, they did a patch earlier this week that shows a lot of the details here. Um, they are also listening to the suggestions that you have uh, in the Discord. They've changed some colors to make it easier to read. They've added some features because people have requested it. Um, it's a very simple, again, advanced clicker style game. But the feature is not the gameplay. It is the background and the interaction with the actual uh, real life mining uh, farm that they have available. This is just step number one of a number of games that they're going to be releasing this year. Uh, it's a good start. Again, I, I, I've mentioned this before and I'll mention it again. I am a big fan of connecting real world and web 3.0 world uh, and getting those two intermixed, basically making real world products available for crypto. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of the initiative that Anuk, Studi Anuk Studios is trying to do. Um, so a lot of cool things to come with this. Um, check it out. More to come. Uh, they're they're going to be adding a lot of features over the next few weeks, uh, including another blockchain, possibly by the end of the month. Um, and again, if you want to get the in-game token miners, they are only available in the packs that were just released. They will never be available again. Uh, and they'll be big down the road because they're going to open and unlock. You'll be able to purchase uh, decorations through there, uh, additional spaces th through that token. Uh, so lots of power with that token. Uh, one other thing I did want to note, they don't have a game in-game store yet. The first uh, few drops that are for in-game tokens will be on Nefty uh, using the ARCTH token. Um, so be aware of that down the road, phase two. Uh, they've already mentioned that, that those will then be accessible within the game itself. What are my thoughts of the game? I've already mentioned it, uh, but I'll quickly go over it again. If you're looking for a fun, entertaining game to play, uh, it's just from the gameplay perspective, it's it's entertaining uh, to a point. Um, but again, I emphasize there is more to this that's on the in the background that makes gives this game a whole lot more value than any other uh, mining game that's on Wax or again in any other blockchains right now. Uh, that connection to a real world farm. So you actually, when you're harvesting, when you're buying the, the miners, it is connected to physical devices that are located and you can see pictures of, uh, which is super cool. Um, nothing else can, can match with that right now. So I hope you all enjoy this. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Are you in the game? Uh, are you going to be jumping in? Um, just what tokens do you want to see them mining uh, in the game? Um, let me know. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.